Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here at the Fish and Sips. I'm back in San Diego Bay. Got something special today with Mr. Ben, Bent Rod Creations. We're going out on his skiff today, mixing it up. Got the 40 horsepower Yamaha four stroke right here. Fourteen foot though, right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get my rods and reels set up on it. Let's try to make it short. All right. Here we go, another beautiful day, Shelter Island, San Diego Bay. Easter Sunday, Sunday, April seventeenth, two thousand twenty-two, and halibut's the target today with Ben. I got some squid here. I got my plastics on my bait caster, but we'll probably also grab some sardines and then make our way to the bay, trying some different spots so we can finally find that legal halibut for my heartbreaker last time. Always a beautiful day, a little bit windy. I was down at H&M Landing earlier today, checking out the bluefin tuna that were coming in. People were getting them still. We got Ben, we got the boat loaded up. Yeah, buddy, I see it. I got some squid. I brought some squid. Perfect. Yeah. So here we got Shelter Island. We got the mooring balls here with the sailboat. So that's an option if when I get my sailboat to be on the mooring balls right here. And you got the boat ramp. You can walk along the top if they say no swimming or fishing off of there. And then come around to the bottom here to the dock where you got all the boats. And then we got the skiff down at the end. We'll find out what kind of skiff. I thought it was a Carolina skiff, but I don't know. I like the name of that boat. No, Big Pita. Big pain in the ass. <laughs> Boats are expensive. That's why I like the solo skiff. It's relatively cheap, simple, and easy. Perfect Baja fishing machine. And then I'll have the sailboat as the mothership. Chirp and pelican and seagulls. And here we go. This is the fishing vessel for today. Dang, that's a cool little rig right there. Aluminum with the pilot house. That's sick. All right, get loaded up. Go. I'll clip off the GoPro. It's actually going to probably be the best right here. While we wait for Ben, here's what I'm working with for my bait caster today. And this I have the 15, 40 pound braid with the 15 pound mono top shot. And then I'll tie different plastics and jigs to this 15. And this is the Runkle Heroism bait caster that they're letting me try out. So this thing is feeling really nice and it's very smooth. And I've used it, you know, five to 10 times now and it's, it's holding up nice, it's feeling solid and really, really good. So excited to use this. And then I got that on the Daiwa Proteus rod. This is my casting with plastics rig right here. We'll get this thing strung up. And then the other one that I'm working with is the Avid SX MC Magic Cast. This is the one that Ben gave me on the Shimano Talus rod. This rod is rated 50 to 100, but it's really flexy tip. I like this setup a lot. And it's a short six foot six. So it's a little easier to manage on the skiff. Just overall, it's a great setup. So I'll put the Sand Dog Trap Rig special on this one right here for fishing the live sardines. And then when we go, if we fish rockfish, I'll put it on that bait caster and drop it down. That's how we're working with today. Before we get in the rest of the episode, don't forget to smash that subscribe, pound that like, show love and support for the channel. Thank you for all the love and support on the channel. I'm just straight up living the dream, fishing hard every day. I was down, like I was saying, down at the docks today with the sport boats, planning out trips yesterday to NorCal for salmon and Baja for my birthday, Loretto to La Paz, solo skiff, who we're gonna make happen. We've got Ben rolling up now. Good morning, good morning. 
Yeah, buddy. Let's get it. Jeez, you don't even check before you go out fishing what time high tide is? Bro, I just go fishing, <laughs> no, yeah, I go I fishing have... when I can. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. I'm like, oh, one to two? Let's do we go to the bait bar and go to the bait. Yeah, that, that's always a good idea. <laughs> I don't have any cash for don't, bait don't though. Do it. Okay. Thank you. I agree with you. I appreciate that. I, but but still, the right thing to do when you go on somebody's boat is to have money for bait and gas. But you know it's tight times for me right now. How much is it now for a scoop? Too much. No, half scoop is 40? 35? 35. 35? That's what they make me And then give them a tip. Yeah. They make me oh, they won't. You can't tell them I want a kayak scoop? Look, don't you know who I'm with? I want a kayak. Tell them you want a kayak scoop. 20 for the kayak scoop. I gotta tie on my rig. My truck. There it is. You're rocking the. Uh, you know it. I haven't you got, changed. That's the same do you have one. any? Do you have any more uh, Carolina keepers? Yes. So when this when this boat is boat moving, don't be standing up. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm yeah, just kidding. I haven't fished part, that much yeah. off of this boat, so yeah, that's what. Just, no, that's what I was about to start. Over. Yeah, like standing up and filming that. Yeah, I don't want to exactly. be doing that. Yeah. Stable. No, it's it's basically just a little bit wider than the solo skiff. Hey, hey. Good. Buddy, how you doing? Hey, here you go. Here, here's a nice handle. You want a half scoop, right? Yes, sir. Had the money in the pump cap. You guys want the whole thing right now, or do you yeah, the whole thing? Yeah, don't take it. Oh, that's that's a nice move. You do that, you can split it and get a, a half scoop, and then come back. You basically, get the quarter now and then a quarter later. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. No, I, I like that. I didn't know that you guys had that available. That's really really good to know. And technically, you can split anything you want except the tire. I was just gonna ask if I can do that with my kayak scoops. I didn't think so. Right off, that's good to know. No, 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 let me get a couple more bucks for you. And then you can't, probably can't split back to back days. It has to be the same day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Howdy. Thank you. Oh, it's all a little greeny in there. A little mackerel. Did you see the mackerel in there? Yeah. Good go. Wind's picking up a little bit, huh? Yeah, we'll try outside real quick. Not too bad on the inside of the bay, but we're approaching the outside. We got the wind. Even a little white cap, looks like. And then what is this boat? Is that a uh, commercial fishing boat or is that a research boat? I don't know what that thing is. It's yeah, a pirate I ship. I don't see it. That's a crazy ass boat. All right, here's the rig I'm going with. They took it? Yeah, I got stuck. So here's what I'm fishing with. I got my lead head, mint, two bait, Whoa, the Steven good. special, and then I have put up above it a hook. And I'm gonna put a live sardine up above oh, it. Hey. <laughs> Both of those go down. Yeah. So let's get a sardine. Live well back here. I am gonna need that tackle bag because I'm gonna need to get my pliers out of there. Oh, okay, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, yeah. It's right behind you. You ready for it? You got a bait already? Oh. That's it, that's all for outside here. Too windy, too choppy, too annoying. We did one trip, no, no nibbles, no bites. We're gonna have the halibut inside. Get that keeper halibut redemption. Inside the bay, out of the wind a little bit. Oh God. How many have you gone through? Um, that's my second one, my, my girlfriend lost Comp 
call? Is that what they said? set up now and now on the radio they're talking about boat fire some boat man we're just drifting you don't even have the engine on huh oh i it's do just, have it it's, the, it's pushing us for i have the engine on pushing us for but i need to put away the song really gonna work with that one. right there Ooh, with Car that? carolina yeah with the trap rig right there see ben just got slammed on the bottom let's see if i can get you just put it back down there for him? I did, but I don't know if you took the bait. Oh, you got just destroyed! Dang! Lit up! Wow! That bite I just had. That was a weird bite. But I got one. You got your net? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the net or the gap? Net. Net him. That away. That away. He's going to be close. Oh, he's, he's probably a keeper. I hope so. Let's see. You have a measuring tape too? Yeah. Hold the fish. I'm going to undo your trouble that's stuck in the net. Oh. He took the main hook. The trap didn't even get him. Look, he has, they caught him with the other net. Look at his tail, got that different, that split. Right here? Yeah, and then they say people don't use the right net. So close. We've got another one. Good shot, Mike. All right, Mr. Halley, you're gonna get the nice release going. I feel it's like one of those bites where you're like, could be caught and a fish. But watch. It's gonna be raked, it's gonna be raked big time. I got bit first. But anytime I get bit by the grass and then get caught in the grass, oh. it makes me seem like a spotty. Yeah, that's a, that's a spotty bite. Feels like a spotty. Can you get all those head shakes? Oh, no, yeah, Hallie. Yeah. Small one, but I got. It. I'm just gonna bounce and be small. On the trap. Yeah, you got the trap on that one. Alley number two, another shorty. We'll get the nice release. All right, we're moving spots. Got two shorts though, over there. Now we're gonna cross the bay. First one took the, took the, took the um, regular hook, second one took the treble hook. That keeper, Ben got raked big time. He got a couple big, big rakes. Oh, oh yeah, good bite. This is the spot, Captain. Drop it down. Drop it. No, 
I think it's just oh, from the uh, the hook was bent. No, that's that's, that's Mark. Yeah, that's Mark. Let him chew it a little more. Good ass. It's hard though. But what Glenn likes to do, he likes to swing on it and then drop it back down and then get him on the second. Okay, so check it out. I noticed the bait. There's a bunch of dead bait falling up down there in the corner. We were having issues with the live well. Ben looked at it and that tsunami pump is not pulling very much water. So like a good captain, Ben's got a replacement and boom, ready to go. And you, you're even going to be able to make that connection? Yeah, we have to, right? Well, yeah, no, I mean, I do, you're just going to uh, do it by hand, twist it together. Like Jeez, this guy is master prepared. Should I, but what do you think I could have done differently? Let him eat it more? No, there's no thing. You have no idea without seeing it, knowing what he was doing. I haven't had been messed with by in seals in the bay very much. Have you? La Jolla is horrible. I'm saying right now, he's going after my line right now. You think it, hugging one of the sides might help? Uh, I don't want to be close. To Yo, that, that's fine. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a matter of just going slow. Okay, let all this water out of the back. Oh, we got so much. Ooh, high seas here in San Diego Bay. Jeez. We got Aelani coming towards us. We got big dog ship on the lake. That's it, that's all. What time we got? 310, calling it a day on the small craft advisory in the bay. <laughs> Just wind getting wet. But if it got the two short halibuts, some heavy rakes, and that's about it. Always fun fishing with Ben. Till next time, signing off. Mikey SD Fishing Sips here. One love, tight lines. You.